in which I bounce repeatedly on a hungry Luma. And, and apparently fall. Okay, no, I was gonna do this level first, uh, to take a break from the lava stuff. And because I hate it and need to, like, get it out of the way because it's probably going to be extremely easy. And then I'll, like, feel stupid for hating it. Anyway, uh, sorry about the last segment's, uh, weirdness. You know, before I do my recordings, I always do a audio test first. I hate to do it because I'm always like, oh, it's gonna work anyway. I don't have to test, but I'll test anyway just to be safe. And then, so I do the test, I listen to it, it sounds okay to me, because it was still picking up my voice, I didn't realize it was, like, the wrong thing, so... It wasn't until I listened to it, like, extensively that I realized it was wrong. And it was just pure laziness that prevented me from lining it up correctly, because, like, I lined up the start, and then I jumped ahead a few minutes, and then all of a sudden it was horrendously wrong, so I don't know what happened there, because I still haven't actually rewatched that segment yet. Really? Do I get hit by it? Well, that was... unique. Yeah, I'm not sure what the point of that little planet was. Okay, so let's see if I... Let's play Chase! Because that's a game. Yeah, I remember this being... Eh, it's just kind of irritating. I really don't get what you're supposed to do. There's like these little holes, but in, I think they might be in them sometimes. I think there's one hiding in a snowman or something. I can't remember. You just gotta push the snow out of the way and find all these buttons. And then like get a fire flower with them, or oh, there's one. You know, I'm just gonna let that one go. Maybe. Not really. Starbase hell. I thought you said Eep, you're a foot. Yay for reading problems. Okay, there we go. This might not be that bad after all. At least I've gotten the fire flower before nine weeks have passed. Now I'm just afraid that I'm gonna run into these random coins, because they're kind of just getting in my style here. Kill the rabbit! get stuck on every single thing in my way. Come on. Yeah, I can't really hit it well here. Um, God, this stupid rabbit chasing. Okay, now... Isn't the last one, like, inside this chest and I need to find a shell somewhere? Why am I asking you? So, wait... I'm confused. Was there a fire flower on both sides, or was the shell on that side, and I looked at it and didn't register it as being a shell? I guess we'll find out. After we destroy every single snow sculpture and flood the level with a million coins. Oh, maybe I'm just supposed to hit it with this thing. Trying to figure things out on a timer. Come on, hit the stupid treasure chest. Ugh. I'm never gonna hit it, am I? Nope, guess that doesn't work. So, Shell, where the hell are you? Is it in the only snowman that I didn't break? Yes, it is. My god. Come on. Go, 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 go. Get him, get him. Get him, get him. Ha ha! Got you stuck in the hole. Okay, so that could have gone worse. Like, yeah, I don't know what to say about this level. It's an interesting idea. I don't hate the concept of it. I just kind of suck at catching rabbits. And I never know what to do, even after I've done it 400 times. 400 times. I've totally played it that many times. And meanwhile, Rosalina is wondering why I still have yet to go save my special one. And I'm still wondering why she thinks it's my special one. It's. Peach is now an it. And obligatory it reference.
reference. Ha ha! Ha ha! Okay, no, I'm not gonna do that anymore. Yeah. And extreme stupidity. We gotta lighten things up with some extreme stupidity. Go! Oh. I was hoping to get, like, a massive P. I really don't know. Okay, so now that I've wasted more of your time, um... Yeah, I really have nothing to talk about here. Okay. Like, seriously, I'm kind of drawing a blank on things to talk about. Well, I come completely out of Starbase, though. I kind of, like, forgot that I just spent all of them. I will now proceed to waste all of them by shooting them in gear mode whenever I find one. Ooh, the Daredevil comic. Okay. Gotta get myself prepared for this one, because this is a freaking hard one. Um, if I die, I will splice together failures, like, I'll cut to that point of my next attempt. Hopefully I won't die, but... This is a rather difficult one. Cause it's the whole level. It's like they knew that this was the last level, so they were going to make it the hardest, but there's still like no sense of difficulty balance at all, because there was a Daredevil run for the first top man fight, and that thing was kind of pathetic. Okay, yeah, beware of these steam vents. They are the unexpected killers of this run. Especially this one coming up. Uh, I think I could skip all this just by wall jumping on that wall. I did it before, but I'm gonna do it the normal way anyway. Yeah, those ones. Those always, like, until I've gotten killed by them 95 times to get used to it, like, to remember that they were there. I always freaking forgot that they were there. And then it turns out that you can get a life shroom in this, and it raises you to 2 HP. Uh, I don't know, that wasn't creative at all. I apologize for that. Nah. It's gonna take it slow. The dramatic music makes me feel like I'm on a timer, but you have to, like, remember that you're not. Uh, yeah, let's try not to drift off into space. That would not end well. And the sunken Roswell UFO. Don't know what that's doing here. Like, what the hell was that? It's just a thing to trip you up if you're, like, not expecting it. Which you should be, because you've already done this, but I guess if you only did it the one time, you wouldn't remember. Oh, God. What the hell was that? I, like, had a close brush with death. Ah, that's the unexpected killers. Except now they're very expected. I, like, don't expect to be killed by anything other than vents at this point. Except for in this last section here where everything can potentially kill you. And because it's a Daredevil run, I'm hoping like hell that there's no coins, that I don't have to do that weird trick that I did last time. Because I don't know if I can pull that off again. Okay. I probably could if I had to, but, well, let's just see how this goes. Move! I realize it's a cutscene and everything, but you can move your legs. God. Yeah, these boulders have screwed me over a few times, too. Come on sink a little bit faster, but only that one part. The rest of it can continue to sink slowly, and I won't mind at all. 
I love how they put a million star bits here, too, to, like, distract you. Because you're totally going to stop and get them all. I wonder if somebody's ever done a challenge run, like, get every star bit possible in the sinking lava spire. Okay, if that little enemy doesn't kill me, I'm in the clear. Giant hands! Must make the Aqua Tina Hunger Force reference again. But yeah, that was fun. And now the silence of the lambs. And then there will be a movie poster of Silence of the Moths, and there will be somebody with a lamb covering their mouth. I never got that. There was like this poster of that movie at the theater when I was a kid, and I'm like, if it's about lambs, then why is there a picture of a moth? I still don't know what that movie is, though. Like, is that the one with Buffalo Bill? They did a parody of that on Joe Dirt. There's Fiery Piranha. Makes sense that he'd be here. I wonder if I'm supposed to go in that pipe. But yeah, Joe Dirt gets a lot of crap for being, like, the worst movie ever. I thought it was funny. Like, it was stupid. It was one of those movies that's, like, clearly made for TV to be played endlessly on Comedy Central and they don't have anything else to play, but it was still funny. And at least it wasn't as stupid as Freddy Got Fingered, which I also saw and used to like when I was littler. Because that's totally the movie that little kid should be watching. I wasn't really little, though. I was like uh, 13 or something. Honestly, that was probably their target age group for that movie. I doubt anybody older would probably sit there. Right? Why am I talking about this? Uh... What am I doing now? Why am I, like, confused here? Oh, I guess I'm supposed to kill all the enemies. I don't know what else I'd do. And I never did determine if these respawn, so I'm guessing they don't now. Oh, there's another one. Okay. And not get the coin. Thank you. Well, this is new. Did one of those meteors from the second star, like, grow in size massively and just decide to spin in place here? I hope I, like, have enough time for all this. I will speed run it. Because I'm so good at this game that I can do that. I've had to speed run the fiery piranha though, so it might be done. it might be doable. I just have to believe in the fairies, and all will be well. Almost done here. level just kind of keeps on going. It's like, actually not bad level design here. That was a bit strange though. I don't know what the hell that was. Okay. I'm guessing this is the boss because it's right after the guy that you paid, so. Yep. Like, I'm not sure if that's a thing that people enjoy about the Galaxy games, or if it's something that, like, they wish it could be changed. Just the fact that it's, like, 3D movement, but there are still very linear levels. It's kind of an interesting mix. I like how I'm mentioning this, like, this late into the game. But, I mean, it's kind of obvious. Nothing new to report on here, so... I don't know, I kind of like being able to do whatever you want and not being confined to just, like, the small planets all the time. Okay, let's not run into a random coin, because I know I heard one break out somewhere. This boss is, like, surprisingly obnoxious. And yay for a weird death cry. 
now we will do a daredevil run of this. That would actually be a decent challenge. But anyway, I do believe that this is the last coinless star that I can get before the um, purple coin challenges in the last Bowser level, not counting the terrible one by.